Hey guys, so I just arrived in Long Island City. I took the bridge over here from Brooklyn and it's because there is a new plant shop that's opening called Planted by Christy. And we are getting a little sneak peek before it opens. And supposedly there's some really cool plants at this shop. Some of your old stalwarts and standards as well, but there's going to be some harder to get varieties, let's just say. So we're gonna meet Peter and see what he has in store. So upon first entering, you see that they have uh, plenty of herbs. Tis the season, it is spring. So we've got some rosemary, we got some oregano. I wish I could smell all this, but I have a mask on now. Looks like you got some mint here, some thyme. Ooh, look at all these bedding plants. And some of your Phalaenopsis orchids. Some tulips, hyacinths, there's my middle name, hyacinth. Some heliobores, and plenty of hanging plants here. So you got your curio radicans, and your epiphyllums, looking very lush, by the way. You could tell it's spring. Some Curio Riolanus, a whole string of them. Oh, well, my name is Peter. I'm uh, the owner of Planted by Christy. We're at Planted by Christy right now. Uh, one of the owners of Nelly's Flower Shop in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. We've been there for well over 30 years. Uh, my in-laws opened it a long time ago. Yeah. Started as a little flower shop, transitioned to a plant shop. I uh, met my wife, got involved, and uh, here we are today, wow. pretty much. Christy is the name of my daughter, so I, I wanted to leave a business for my daughter, open a business for her, start a business, and have her eventually take over one day. So, named after her. That's amazing. Did she, does she express interest as, a, as a, your daughter in plants, or is this something that you're she, to her? <laughs> she definitely does. She loves it when I bring home mommy flowers or when I bring her flowers and then when we bring a lot of plants home, she's very excited to see them, water them. She has her own little section of plants in her in her room, so she's very excited about that. Okay, so you're grooming already passion that she has that probably runs through her veins. I suppose so, yeah, yeah probably. That's, that's fantastic. So then tell me what's, um, what's different about this plant shop um, compared to like Nellie's, for instance. Well, this one is primarily just centered around plants in general. Mm -hmm. Nellie's also has a, a flower department, kind of a, business going there. So I just wanted to center something around plants, specifically rare plants, because we're doing a lot of imports from uh, Southeast Asia, from Indonesia and Thailand. So I needed to build a greenhouse per se area and uh, just acclimate all the plants that come in. And uh, that's what I started here. And we're kind of centered around that. So we do have a nice little rare plant section over there that I'm sure you videotaped already. And uh, it's just, we got imports coming in all the time. We're trying to get them ready to sell and, you know, get them to the customers, exactly what people are looking for. And tell me what it, what it means by, by getting ready to sell. Is there an acclimat acclimatization process or? There is. They need to basically be like replicating the, the atmosphere that they came from. So it's like 95% humidity, it rains every day. The roots need to develop. They need to acclimate and, and just, we want to sell something to the customer that they're going to be happy with and not turn around and tell us, hey, the plant's not looking well or right. there's nothing wrong. With, there's something wrong with the roots. So we, we started in August and we had a few problems, a couple of hiccups here and there. So it's just the learning process. And this is where it's brought us to developing this really crazy greenhouse room where I, I can't even see when I walk in there. It's just like 99 percent humidity all the time. And it's it's the right thing for the plants. We put a few like Monstera and Dosoni eyes that had three leaves. Now they have seven leaves inside yeah. of like a two week frame. So it's really the right atmosphere for them. I mean, it's already humid in here. I mean, and you're not even in the back room. Well, yeah, exactly. It's very humid here. Clearly I'm sweating, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's it's the right thing for them. It's 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 the right thing for the customer. It's the right thing for us to sell to the customer. So it's, it's something that we're very proud of and we're very excited about. Well, that's great. Well, I'm, I'm excited to be here. I think you all need to move for uh, Hawaiian shirts. 
Hawaiian and, shorts. And shorts. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd love to check out the uh, the back room, and um, and I'll do some more close-ups of the plants because they are just really phenomenal. Absolutely. This is great. Everyone's going to be so jealous. They'll want, like, one of these rooms in their own apartment. But yeah. But there's going to be, like, yeah. mold problems. Well, it, co it costs too much. <laughs> I don't think they want to. Yeah, once they're sellable, we kind of put them on a rack and we start putting them to sell. We've been selling a lot of stuff at Nelly's yeah. also, so we kind of just move them back and forth. Basically, they just need to acclimate. They need to, to get into the same environment they came from. They're sitting in a box for, I personally, I, I get air cargo, so they come to me within two to three days from, from either Thailand or from Indonesia, and I have them within two or three days. But sitting in a box, you know, especially over the winter, the worst time to import is over the winter, which we've lost a lot of imports through that. But now that the springtime's opening up, we just want to start really going full throttle and, and getting a lot of stuff in here. And how did you source, go about sourcing your plants? Like, uh, I, I know a lot of folks are into Arroyds right now, but what are some of the ones that you're distinctly focusing on? Basically, Arroyds right now is, is the prime thing. We're also very big on Hoyas and uh, just whatever, typically whatever the customers are asking us for. We're, we're doing a lot of feedback with the customers, looking, seeing what they're looking for, and just getting what people want. I mean, this is incredible. Like, I didn't expect it to be so deep down and yeah. there's like a secret, you know, passage behind here where all the magical plants are. Um, and yeah, like, it's humid, it's but so humid the plants here. love it. And so do we at some point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like the collection's amazing. Like, Is, is it a bit overwhelming? It definitely is, um, because I, d I came in not even expecting this much. Yeah. Um, but it's actually, it, like I was just saying, like it looks literally like a gallery like of just rare plants that you can just admire and maybe buy one day yeah. or yeah. can buy now. Yeah. Um, but it's also really cool to see like the names and like get to know what the plants are and like, you know, maybe do a bit more research and know whether or not you can care for them. What's on your radar? Is that something that you might uh, um, to, uh, eventually... Maybe, well... The Pictum Tricolor, the Aglaonema Pictum Tricolor was uh, one that I've been eyeing on for a very long time. So that could be something that I might treat myself today to. And maybe my um, <laughs> variegated string of pearls. I was just telling Summer that after she filmed um, my, string of, my variegated string of pearls, it got attacked by aphids. So that was the last beautiful shot we got of it. Um, before I got attacked, and so maybe that that might be on my list today. It, it's a remember one. It <laughs> is. <laughs> I'm, glad we got it. I got, I'm glad we got it photographed. Yeah. We have it yeah, but I mean, there's so many. Like, there's so many wishlist plants on here that I would love to buy, but yeah. slowly, but slowly surely. surely. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it's awesome stepping into you again. Yeah. <laughs> nice and soft. <laughs> What's that in your hand, Phoebe? 
It's um, <laughs> he's here to see the house, the mother has aphids, and it's going to be replaced. <laughs>